Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0. And today is day 59. So, somewhat of a little bit of a continuation from yesterday's video. Yesterday, I showed you how to email documents from your email directly into a DocuSign room. Uh, today, I want to show you how to do it essentially from dot loop into DocuSign using a very similar process. So, there's one more step. I'm going to show you how to do it, and yet, hopefully, it'll make life a little bit easier. For those of you that are transitioning from dot loop into DocuSign. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to our opportunities here on the left hand side. Sixth icon down, the, down excuse me, the handshake. And we're going to go ahead and pull up the opportunity that we were working on yesterday. And once we dive in there, we can get into the documents tab of that opportunity itself. So let's go ahead and pull that up here. And I'm going to click on documents. From here, I can go to go to transaction. That's going to go ahead and pull me into DocuSign because that is what I linked to this transaction previously. This is my DocuSign room. Okay, now let's just say that I had started this DocuSign room. I had done everything else in dot loop. However, I wanted to start bringing these documents from dot loop into DocuSign. Now, there is going to be an import process soon in command that will uh, kind of take care of this and historical and yet for some of you that are looking to do this right now I just thought it was a great way to show you how to do it quickly and easily right now so essentially I'm gonna go into dot loop so this is the dot loop loop that I created and I want to pull these documents out I want to get them into DocuSign so quickest and easiest way to get them all is just to click on this box next to contract documents it's gonna check all of the documents I'm going to click on share and then I need to make sure that I click down here where it says attach PDF to email. I want to do that. And then you want to type in, so I've actually already started a custom um, email address for my DocuSign. So you can see it says Marty's DocuSign, but you would put in whatever you want. You just need to make sure that this email is your DocuSign email, which we learned yesterday where to find that. Again, it was in documents and then go into inbox. I'm going to have to come back to this room in just a second. But we would go to inbox and there is your DocuSign email. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the room for illustrative purposes so I can show you what's about to happen. And let's go into dot loop. So we're going to click all those documents, right? I've attached the PDF. I've said uh, since I was the listing agent, let's just put that DocuSign email as a listing agent. It's okay to say view only. And yet again, just remember the two most important things, this email address and attach PDF to email. I'm going to click on share. Uh, PDFs totaling over 13 MB cannot be sent. Not sure what I have in there. That's over 13 MB. So let's see which one of these is probably a really big one. Um, let me just check on this one. Let's just do this. Let's uncheck them all and let's just choose a couple of them. Okay. So just imagine that you were checking all of them. And now let's do that share. So we're gonna click on share. We're gonna come down here. We're gonna use my DocuSign email. I'm gonna make sure that I'm the listing agent assigned, view only, and make sure I click on attach PDF to email. And then click on share. It says these documents have been shared waiting on others. Okay, so I'm gonna clear that out. I'm gonna come back in. Okay, and this is my room right here. Okay, however, when these documents come in, they're going to come into our inbox. Okay, unfortunately, right now there's not a way to go into dot loop and change the actual subject of the email that's being sent over. Um, you know, when I click on share, I don't have an option to change what the subject is of the email. However, when I come into my inbox, and it takes a you know a, a minute maybe somewhere in that range, 30 seconds to a minute, you'll see you're going to start to have documents show up here in the inbox. That are the documents that we sent over from dot loop so these four documents will show up in our inbox here shortly as soon as that happens i will have the ability to select them all here they are so you see all four of the documents came in okay i'm going to click on select all and then i'm going to click on move okay it's that first icon here i want to move these documents i want to move them to an active room and it's going to show me all of my active rooms that are available. Here was the active room that we were utilizing. And I'll say, yep, I want to move all four of these documents into this active room. As soon as I click on move, they're going to be removed from my inbox. 
and then I can go into my rooms tab and choose that actual orchid mist room that we were working on and as soon as that loads you'll see here are all the documents that we just sent from dot loop via email to my DocuSign email and now when I click on documents here are those four documents that I've moved over from dot loop okay so I don't I, I wouldn't recommend doing this for all of your historic loops I do believe that there's going to be an easier way soon in the future uh, where that's going to be able to happen but if you're actively right now making the transition from dot loop to DocuSign this is a quick and easy way to get over any of the documents you previously had in dot loop into DocuSign um, for any reason, if you started things in DocuSign and you just wanted to go into dot loop to do something a little bit quicker and easier, maybe that you already know because you're still learning DocuSign, you know, again, just remember the amount of data we're putting into dot loop. Zillow does own that and there's a lot of um, issues out there with regards to privacy of that data. So that's all I'll say about that. I would definitely recommend using DocuSign over dot loop personally, uh, but moving those documents in again from dot loop into DocuSign, now into my rooms, they come in first through the inbox. Then I move them to the room and here they are now. So I can click on these, I can do whatever I need to do. Send them off in envelopes, get them initial, get them signed, etc. And uh, that was the quick and easy way today to move documents from your dot loop into DocuSign. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I do have one more video regarding um, one more DocuSign hack that I've now learned as well, which is kind of cool. Um, I'll show that to you tomorrow and then we'll move forward to finishing out the 66 just before family reunion. Hope you guys all have a great day and as always I look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.